glory. Hallelujah. Is that a visitation or what? But you see, that same God is here today. And He's walking with you. He's walking with you through the trouble. He's walking with you through the cool of the day. He, he's, he comes with a refreshing day and day after day. Refreshing. Don't become worried. Don't become worried. Don't become fearful. No. God has it well in control. Yes. He knows your every need. He knows your every situation. And I believe in these last days that we're going to see every conflict resolved, Pastor. I believe in these last days we're going to see situations just change. I believe we're going to see mountains move that we've not seen before. We're moving into a new dimension, a new time with God. And if we'll stay together, if we'll stay together, stay committed to the Lord and see what He will do. I don't know about you, but I, I, I'm boiling over with excitement. Yes. It, it's such a blessing to see many of you that are fairly new in the Lord. It's been, it's been a blessing to see how God has brought you along. But get ready. We, we just begin to hook up with the great things of God in these last days. Amen. And it's going to happen. It is going to happen. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. And God has given you. See, when, when Jesus said these words, by my stripes you were healed, yes. it's done. Yes. Past, present, and future. Now I'll ask you a question. If he did that, which he did, where is that healing power today? Yes. It's in you. Yes. It's in you. It's in you. We were teaching last week about the, the lame man at the gate beautiful. Mm -hmm. See, the healing power was already in him. But it took Peter speaking to him and said, rise up in the name of Jesus. The healing power is in you. Salvation is in you. It's in you. So how do we experience it? By faith. When I'm sick and I need healing, you know how I pray? I speak to myself. And I say, healing power, come forth. Amen. And heal my arm. Part of the case. Yes. Healing power, come forth. And heal me. The Bible says, God will not hold, withhold any good thing. Amen. So if he paid for it, he didn't keep it. It remains to be his power. But it's in you. Amen. He didn't keep the faith. Where did he put it? In you.
If you try to save your life, you will lose it. Amen. If you try to lose your life for Christ's sake, you will save it. That's pretty clear text. Yes. So it's a matter of choice, isn't it? See, the whole thing about serving God is a matter of choice and how we respond to what God's Word says. So today, those things that, that you've wrestled with, some, some of you here this morning have a situation you've been wrestling, wrestling with for years. Amen. And God wants you to know He wants you to be free. Yeah, praise God. He wants you to be free. He wants you to be over that. He, want, he wants to settle it for you. Amen. So then there will never be a problem again. You know, it's, it's been absolutely amazing over the last decade or so. How many people in, 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 in church leadership have been busted for watching pornography on their computer? Yeah. Yeah. It is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Look at what has been coming out. See? We can't hide anything from God. Amen. Let, let's go try it. Let's just bring it to the cross and hang it on the cross and walk away from it and leave it there. Take your burdens to the Lord Amen. and leave them there. Good old song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or you can choose to hang on to it and live in the struggle. Your decision this morning. The church that would truly come back in line with God's word will see revival and see the greatness of God in these last days. In these last days. I pray we, we have a good church here. God has blessed us. But I pray that we will unite even greater than we have in the past. Come into this place with one purpose and one purpose alone. And that's to worship God and heal the rest. Worshiping God is our highest praise. Yes. If we'll do her, our part, He'll do His part. Yes. Highest praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Highest praise. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So, today, I want to give you an opportunity to stand your feet if you want. The musicians come back to the front if you would, please.